you 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 are running this drink read love which is essentially a coffee shop is drinking and you're selling these specialized books aimed at the LGBT community and then it says love where does the love come in well the love comes in I think of it as the community that we're creating with this space um, we are creating a progressive community where people can sit drink coffee read and um, t you know kind of talk about the books and all the other and how many how how how, are the, how has this venue been going so far I know you're trying to raise money to get a style but it's Right now, it's something that's an ongoing project. Are you getting a growing attendance where people love we, coming week we, after week? We are. We are pretty new, and right now we've been uh, doing book readings. We've also been doing for pop how up long? shops. How many? Uh, we have only been doing this for about two months. Um, at you know, we started up back. In Which came first, the chicken or the egg? And you, you're the egg. You're not even a chicken yet. But I should say that to someone who looks so young. Uh, so go ahead, so you're having, you're trying to, to make this work. And what kind of, I mean, is it working? Like, are you selling enough books? Are people coming just to see the presentation? I mean, is it, does we it look actually, like it's we're making selling a little a, money? Yeah, we are selling a lot of books at the conference. Uh, once we have a, a physical space, it will be it will be different than showing up at a conference. Now or you told me you actually you, pay employees. We, we are paying employees. Wow. And, um, at and least minimum wage. Legals? Yes. They're legal? Yes, legal employees. Yeah. Over I hope you don't wage. discriminate against straight people. We do not. We yeah. have allies that we work with as Good. well. We love our allies. Good. We, and <laughs> what happened with... with, with Anybody ever harass you because sometimes you have venues outdoors or not? I don't know. No, we, you know, we're just starting up that process. We haven't had an outdoor venue yet. We've mostly been at, you know, we were at Pride. We were at the Trans Health Conference. Mo mostly, you know, LGBT friendly spaces. But uh -huh. we plan on going outside of that soon. And so we'll see what happens. You but, should try doing, you know. a, doing a thing around the, the country. Because if you did this in different towns, people might copy your model. And what it, you may or may not succeed in this. Someone else may figure out maybe it should be drink, drink and love, read instead of drink, read and love. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I think they had too many drinks if they. If well, they I mean, we don't think it's all about a sex club. Then that might draw more people. If you if you had love, love, drink, read. Well, that sounds know, like they get drunk and then they say tacky things to each other, like the queens used to say. You read one another. Oh, you're in my day. We would say, oh, you're too much, Miss Thing. Today, gay males don't dare say that. They're so uptight about being so macho. I mean, it's so sad. It used to be a thing. I really would say, oh, Mary, get over it. You can't do that anymore. They're ready to chuck your head off, you know? <laughs> well, I don't like this, this, this pronoun police crap. I don't like it either. Oh, um, God. Well, you know, we're really excited about You're free about to it, have your own our, opinion. No, we're really excited about our um, alcohol-free space right now, our yeah. cafe. We're, because uh, I saw the drink, and I have a friend who's a recovered alcoholic. And when I saw him, I thought, this is a crazy mixture. And I bought a t-shirt just to bug him, you know? <laughs> if, you know, I, I, I avoid taking it in places where there are going to be, although he's around my house and I drink, you know, and he isn't tested because he said, I'm not going back in the yeah, toilet. He yeah. was an alcoholic for eight years. Yeah. Now he's been sober for three. And he did it to a program called Hogar, which is interesting. Most of them are Hispanic, and they totally are not interested in being honest and facing yeah. their problems. They're there just to do work there instead of going to jail. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Drink, Read, Love, and uh, I look forward to hearing more about you.